Almost 105 years ago, a little-known physicist and mathematician by the name of Albert Einstein developed a groundbreaking new theory which completely revolutionized the way we look at our world and launched Einstein into the fame we now know him for today. This theory was known as general relativity. Before Einstein's fantastic revelation, the original theory of gravity was proposed by the great Sir Isaac Newton in 1687. Newton theorized that all matter attracts other matter with a force that is directly proportional to their own mass. As an example, if we take this apple as the Earth and this grape as the moon, then according to Newton's theory, the two should be attracted to each other, which can be seen by the moon staying in orbit around the Earth. This force Newton named gravity. For years, this theory worked. We could predict how far a cannonball would shoot, how much force is needed to propel a rocket, and so on. There was only one slight problem. Mercury's orbit around the sun was off by 0.00012 degrees per year from what Newton predicted. Ah. Einstein decided to investigate. Einstein believed that while Newton's ideas on gravity were headed in the right direction, they were not 100% correct. Instead of gravity being the attraction of two masses, he believed that large masses or energies could actually bend the fabric of space-time around them and as such cause a gravitational field. As an example, let's take this cloth right here. Now this will represent one slice of the space-time continuum. So if we take this star and place it here, you can see the space-time continuum is actually bending around it, and this bend is what causes gravity. If we add a planet, you get basically what is a rough approximation of how orbits work. It's not actually an attraction of two masses. Instead, gravity is the space around the masses bending. So how was Einstein supposed to prove this theory? The answer was using light. Since light has momentum but no mass and travels in a straight line, the belief was that a light coming from a distant star should only be slightly affected by the sun's gravity. Einstein disagreed. He hypothesized that the light would bend through the sun's warped space-time and therefore when arriving at Earth would appear to be farther out of place. In 1919, during a full eclipse, two groups of astronomers took pictures of the stars. The stars away from the sun's gravity acted as normal, while the light beams from the stars closer to the sun bent so that they appeared farther away from the sun than expected, but right where Einstein predicted. Einstein's theory was proven correct, and he became world famous overnight. Newton redefined our world. Einstein our universe. It is inevitable that one day someone will come along and send us on our next giant leap forward. Will it be you?